We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. The name above all names. It's a brand new day and it is a brand new week that God has given us. And let us live to the fullest. Let us enjoy what God has given us. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice every day that he gives you. Every day is a gift. But dear friend, as you know, today is Monday and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you and I know it will bless you. As I share this word with you, I encourage you, connect in faith, believe and receive. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father even today. And speak to us through this word. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that the Lord placed on my heart to share. In this season, whatever is worrying you, give it into God's hands. Surrender to Him all your worries and your pain. He will work things out. He wants to help you and He will help you. But you must surrender it to Him and allow Him to fight for you. Many times we get in the way and we block the progress that God is giving us simply because we have not surrendered it completely to God. Trust God in the process. Believe that He is able to deliver you and He will. Relax in His presence and just receive. As I received this word, the Lord led me to the book of Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to verse 6. It says, Trust in Yahweh with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. My dear friend, the first bit over here, trust in Yahweh with all your heart. Each and every believer should do this. This is something that we should do regarding all that concerns us. We should trust God with all of our heart, and we should be able to give it into His hands knowing that He knows best and He will do what is right for us, what is good for us, what is the best for us. It goes on and says, and don't lean on your own understanding. There are situations where leaning on your own understanding and trying to fix the problem in your own strength only makes it worse. The best thing you can do in those situations is to give it to God and to trust Him. It goes on and says, In all your ways acknowledge Him. I personally believe this also means to surrender to Him completely. That you trust in God and you will believe in Him. No matter what may happen, you trust in God. Now it goes on and says, And He will make your paths straight. So in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. The next scripture that the Lord led me to is in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 11. It says, For the scripture says, Whoever believes in Him will not be disappointed. Many people are afraid to put their full and complete trust in God because they are afraid of being disappointed. But the scripture says, whoever believes in Him will not be disappointed. So as you put your trust and your hope in God and you believe Him, you will not be disappointed. 
He will make a way for you. He will bring opportunities your way. He will work things out. And you will watch and see as things work, as God works things out. You will watch and see as God fixes things and puts them in the right place as you trust Him. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Wherever you are in your own words, let us begin to praise God just for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that is released in abundance. And thank you that even today you're with us. It is another day that we can press in and we can trust you. We can believe you. For your wonder-working power to work in our lives and change the situation. We give you praise and we thank you that you are such a good God. And you never leave us helpless. You never leave us alone. Thank you for a new day. And thank you for a new week. Thank you for the people, the friends, the family that you've placed around us. And thank you that it is not the end until you say it's the end. It is never over until you say it's over. And we give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. So wherever you are, in your own words, Trust God and just tell Him, Father, I surrender to you. Say, Father, I give it all into your hands. Come and take over control. And help me out of every situation that is troubling me. I ask this in Jesus' name. Now, as I begin to pray for you, I encourage you, comment and agree believe and receive. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even in this season, give my dear friend the grace to press on and to trust you, to believe you, to rely on you, to trust you in all seasons, and to be able to surrender completely to you, knowing that you are the God who speaks in your lips. And you make a way where there seems to be no way. You make a way where there is no way. And you're making a way for my dear friend even today. Even right now as my dear friend surrenders to you, you're working things out. You're setting things in divine alignment. And you know better than we do. You know the way. So we surrender and we trust you, knowing that you have our best interests at heart. Bless my dear friend mightily, body, soul and spirit, and strengthen my dear friend to go on and to trust you, to go to greater glories and to believe you against all odds, to believe you and to trust you. In seasons that are difficult, in seasons that we don't know what to do, to believe and trust you. If my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle in this season, do a miracle, a sign or a wonder. If my dear friend is trusting you for divine intervention, bring divine intervention and bless my dear friend mightily. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the peace of God be with you. May God's Holy Spirit lead you and guide you in the way that you must go. And may he bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.